And the State Department of Health and Environmental Control has released its latest abortion data. By law, the agency must keep track of all abortions conducted in South Carolina. Their latest report shows the number of abortions in the state rose dramatically in 2022. In total, there were 7,276 abortions in the state last year. That's about 1,000 more than 2021. And in 2020, there were 5,468 abortions. The Palmetto State Abortion Fund is an advocacy group that provides financial and logistical support for people seeking an abortion. Co-founder Ashlyn Pro says that the increase is due to more people from other states traveling to South Carolina for abortion services. We wanted to just like add more resources for South Carolina, but we always were helping people if they came into the state. Um, now it's just, it's a lot more people coming into the state. Like we are like the last state that's kind of standing without a ridiculous, you know, restrictive ban. Pro says the group struggles to keep up with the increased demand for abortion assistance. The report also tracks when during a pregnancy each abortion is conducted. 51% of those procedures were done at six or fewer weeks of pregnancy. 48% were between seven and 13 weeks. And the number of abortions from 12 to 19 weeks represent less than half of a percent of abortions last year. And five abortions were at 20 to 23 weeks. State lawmakers passed a new abortion ban this session. It would prohibit abortions once cardiac activity is detected, which is around six weeks. It does have exceptions for rape and incest, but only up to 12 weeks of pregnancy. There is also an exception to save the life of the mother. The law is similar to the 2021 fetal heartbeat law, which the state Supreme Court ruled as unconstitutional. But since that ruling was made, the makeup of the court has changed and just one female justice, Kay Hearn, had to retire because of age. Hearn was replaced by Gary Hill, making South Carolina an all-male Supreme Court. A day after this new abortion ban was signed in May, it was temporarily blocked by Circuit Court Judge Clifton Newman. At late last month, the state Supreme Court heard arguments over the law. The state's lawyers argue that the current bill addresses previous constitutional challenges, but opponents say if a six-week time frame remains, the centerpiece of the law will remain unconstitutional. It's unclear when the court will issue a ruling.